Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back with another video. Now I'm very excited for this one as it is one of my favorite videos for sure. We have the Gene Road to 2000, but today is a little bit of a special edition as we have Gene in Heist. Some more gameplay of Gene in Heist. I know you guys love that first one. It's going to be the same map hot potato. Now, as you guys can see, we're at 1860 right now. There is a new hot potato meta, which is actually really scary to go up against. And we're going to show you guys some of that gameplay. So with that being said, let's hop into the games and let's show you guys what's up. All right, so here we go into the first game. And as you guys can see, the map is looking a little bit different. It has kind of that dinosaur you know city type of theme it is really cool looking i low-key like the other one better but it is pretty cool and pretty fresh so this is our actually first game of the day so obviously og is going to be on that right side spike lane we're going to be playing with alec 26 the carl and then we're obviously going to have myself as mid gene now if you guys didn't watch the last gene and heist video and you have no clue how this works just to explain it to you guys a little bit what basically i do is i kind of just stand here and i defend slash take care of the mid that's what the important job is for me then usually we have og on safe or alec now in the previous spike one or in the previous push we had bonnie slash johnny whichever you like to call him slash pika the god bull um doing the dps so our dps is definitely worse off this time so as gene i have to have a little bit of a bigger impact when it comes to doing things um and when it comes to how well i play i can't make as many mistakes because we don't do a tremendous amount of offense but i'm doing a pretty good job so far this game this game is pretty easy for us just because we're not facing any tanks really and tanks is what counter us although we do have a spike our spike is supposed to be the offense so it's supposed to be focusing on the safe a lot more than it is supposed to be focusing on anything else but as you guys can see really good gameplay here so far by all of us we're all doing our jobs very well the other team has not even touched the safe yet. OG was about to go down over there, so I just grabbed that uh, grabbed that spike to help him out. And again, that's really my job. Just stand here, you know, help my teammates out, hold that mid, make it easy for them to go up and do damage. You guys can see Alec is just standing here, chipping that wall. He does 4% every single shot, so he's doing a really good job over there, just standing there chipping. He's got that Brock on him, so I'm just going to pull the Brock. He's going to go onto that safe. Or I guess shoot it, he didn't really end up going on it. And we are going to end it there. So it's a really good first game. Two minutes of basically perfectly clean gameplay. These guys were also 1200s, very good team. So, you know, GG's to them. Hopefully they're ranked 35 by now. But let's hop into the next game and keep showing you guys what's up. Now hopping into the next game. Now this matchup is obviously very hard for us. And the reason being is because they have a BB. Now BB is really good against the Carl and a Gene. It's okay against the Spike. But the way they play this comp is pretty interesting. So the Gale does mess up with that first launch pad. The BB is going to spin a little bit. And Brock mid. I don't really have the hardest time against Brock mid with, uh, with Gene. It's pretty easy to be able to get those kills. Just because you know you only have to really hit it three times. If you sneak on it you just auto aim button three times. It's not too hard. So we have Alec and OG on safe here. This is our second game of the day. So I'm just showing you guys it in order. Now I have to defend down here against this uh, BB, which we're going to show you over here. It does use its gadget, which gives it heals, which makes it very hard for, my, for me to kill. We're going to be able to kill it though with it only doing 9%, which is pretty good to be honest. Let me just click the automatic there again. Um, but yeah, so far pretty good. Carl and OG did do a pretty good amount of damage. I get a pretty long pull over there. And that's a good pull for us because it opens up the map for OG. And the more open, the better for a spike. Specifically, if you're as good as OG. Again, I'm just going to go over to the mid. I'm going to try and hold mid. Help out over there. If I use my super and get three shots, I'm only one shot to super. So you guys can see I'm able to get it there again. Very easy gameplay for us so far. Their safe is at 6 percent so it's looking really good for us i'm gonna go down over here i choose just to die by the fire um instead of getting hit by the gale because i don't like gale and i don't want to give it that satisfaction of killing me um but anyways this is looking like a pretty easy win over here i'm just gonna get that pull on the gale gonna be able to get that kill and then alec and og are gonna go up they're gonna be able to finish it off and that's gonna cap off our second game now you guys see we're not really getting any one pushes it's basically impossible to do with this comp just to go up and get a really quick base race or something because we can't really do that with the way our comp is we have to slowly work our way up slowly chip and just hold control for majority of the game and that doesn't go very well into comps that are like triple tank and stuff like that so you guys are gonna see some more gameplay of that coming up in the video so let's keep going and show you you guys what's next okay so hopping into our next game we got max brock and daryl now i actually really like this comp in like competitive type of thing where you're facing other people um that are really skilled this is a high skilled comp you know there's a lot of speed there's range dps is everywhere so it's actually a really good comp um we actually use this actually fairly a lot in competitive so myself and alec are going to be able to pinch that right away I'm going to be able to kill his lane, and then I'm going to sneak up on the Brock over here and get a really easy Brock kill. And then OG's just going to focus on offense while I try and get this max. The max is perfectly three shot for me, so I'm going to be able to get that kill. There is that Daryl in the middle as well, who I obviously don't want to die from, so I'm just going to like 
gadget him into Alex. So pretty good for me over there. Pretty good start for us. We're winning by a good amount. But again, they do have a comp that can kind of end us really quickly. They don't really have to, you know, have that much possession up, up top. They can kind of just walk around, do whatever they want. OG is going to leave myself and a Daryl on safe as they go up. Luckily for us, I think Alec died. Um, and the Daryl didn't fully commit, which is really lucky again for us. Um, I'm going to be able to hit that pull. And because the Daryl didn't commit, it kind of just wasted a lot of time on offense. It could have gotten it down to like 40, but it just didn't end up happening that way. Daryl also misses the roll over there. And that's kind of the game sealer almost as we're going to be able to kill that Daryl pretty easily. Rock's going to go for a pretty obvious super over there. Try to kill myself and OG. So I'm just going to move back over there. And Alex just over here chipping away at the safe. I'm able to get the kill over there. Going to knock back that Daryl. And Alex just going to roll onto the safe. He's going to be using his gadget. His gadget's going to take him out with a roll. And that is going to be it. Now, again, you guys see we're slowly chipping away. We can't just get those quick pushes. Again, let's hop into the next game. And let's show you guys a matchup that is really difficult for us to beat. Now, here we go hopping into the next game. Now, this is the meta on this map that is very strange. And that I really don't like, if I'm going to be 100% honest. You have a Gale. And a Gale basically just puts down the launch pad. And then a tank just jumps on your face. So, I already have to use one gadget right there. And a gadget's kind of like my last resort for defense. So, I don't really like that i could have pulled this daryl over here really easily but i want to get some more value with my pull so i just waited till the daryl was two shots so i can get some more value and then went for that pull over there i decided to go up and help og with gale so i'm able to hit gale twice over there get my super and then i tell alec just to go up and that i can take care of this brock but this uh this daryl does kind of get on us which isn't really that great jumps in does damage now as you guys can see we've been holding pretty good control but the fact that they can just jump in whenever they want is kind of toxic. It just uh, lets it just lets them do a ton of damage. Now I'm just trying to defend over here, but it is very difficult for me to do so. I do have to use gadgets to defend, um, and even then I'm barely able to stay alive. So when I don't have gadgets, obviously you guys can imagine it's pretty difficult. Rock had super, that would have been a lot of damage, so I'm able to get that kill thankfully. Um, OG and Alec did just spawn, so the Daryl wasn't in, wasn't really able to just roll in or sorry jump in like he wants to. Uh, pretty easy pull for me over there able to get two kills brock sneaks through the middle he's gonna get two shots off on the safe and he's gonna triple auto me and do some damage now alec is slowly wearing down the safe so is og but again daryl's just able to jump on and do whatever he wants he's gonna roll on and there's nothing that we can really do we can just take him down a little bit slowly so even though we hit every shot and alec also helped out he did do a pretty good amount of damage. Now, we're all on safe over here, but I decided to back up because I don't really do any safe damage. And there, Brock obviously does safe damage. And then we have two on one at the safe. Now, this I really can't do anything about. I did get really lucky, though, over here as I was able to take out their Daryl, which made it a two on one. And then Alec and OG are pretty easily able to take out the safe as they're able to get the kill on their Gale. And we're going to get the W over there. So, again, this is a very hard matchup, even though we played it very well. It is very easy to lose to something like this. So again, let's hop into the next game and let's keep things going. All right, so hopping into our final game, we're going to be playing three pretty good players and they're going to be using that really annoying kind of bull gale kind of comp. They do have really high DPS. So this game is going to definitely be scary. The bull is just going to jump right on us. Um, and right off the bat, you know, our positioning was really weird over there. So they're going to be able to get some hits um, off on the safe with that bull. There's nothing I can do. I'm hitting every shot. It uses its gadget. I have to hide behind the safe or else I go down. It's going to do even more damage. So they already get a really easy 17% literally from doing nothing outside of jumping in. So it is pretty scary. I get hit over there by the, uh, by the Colt. Um, so they're winning so far. Just trying to chip away at the safe is what the Colt is trying to do. Um, Alec is trying to get that lane over there. OG's doing a really good job with that bull. Very lucky that the bull went down lane instead of jumped in because that would have been really poor for us. We're able to get that kill over there on the Gale, which is also really good. I'm able to get my super back. I'm just going to be able to pull the Colt. We're going to get that kill. And then now we're a little bit more set up. They are winning by 1%, literally after doing absolutely nothing besides jumping in. But it is looking pretty good for us at this point. Gale does miss that super over there. I'm going to go for the pull. I'm going to be able to get that kill on him. Now, I just got to be able to take out this Colt as OG and Alec are on offense. I'm going to use my gadget over there, be able to stay alive, get a little bit of a cheeky pull over there, and I'm going to be able to get the kill. So now we have a good amount of lead. It's about 32% right now. So things are looking pretty good. Bull's going to go for the jump. I'm 38 HP, so I can't really do too much. I can't really get in its face, but myself and Alec get a really good pinch over there. OG's going to get clipped by that Colt. The Colt's playing pretty well. And again, the map is open, which is good for me and OG, but it is very, very good for this Gale. So this is kind of trouble for us. It's only a 20% lead right now. Bull is thinking about jumping in, but Alec is distracting, doing a ton of damage, which is obviously really good. Um, I was thinking about going for the pull over here on that bull, but OG is able to take it out, get another super on the safe. I'm going to be able to pull that Gale, which is really good. I, I've hit every single pull in Heist 
outside of literally that one right there. That is the only pull I've missed in all of our heist games so far because the map is really condensed. It's actually not that bad of a gene map, just the meta isn't really good. But as you guys can see, OG is going to be able to take out that safe and that is going to be it for our final game. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. As you guys know, Gene in Heist is literally god tier and I know you guys love watching it. I know, I know you guys like the updates for how close we are at 2000. But anyways, that is going to be it for today. So right now, OG is inviting me. We're about to get back on that grind. We are at 18 60 so far gonna hop right back into those hot potato games so that being said i hope you guys enjoyed that's gonna be it and i will see you guys again tomorrow peace